to live, I felt really lonely. And now at the conservatory, I just feel like, you know, I always have something going on. Now that we live in Colorado, I'm away from my family. But I feel like I have a big family right here. I was in a uh, car wreck in uh, 2007, which caused my traumatic brain injury. I was living out in California, uh, and I thought that I was going to be a rock star, you know? My son Dominic was a, uh, um, a student here for, I'd say, over two years now. Um, he, before he passed away, um, this is the only place that made him happy. This is where he chose to be. Making music and continuing to do this was his, his passion and, and the only thing that, that would break the depression that he suffered for after the loss of his mother. Every child that walks through this door has what we know, an essence. So many kids are walking around not even knowing. And that's the tragedy. And that's why I've come to believe that this place is so important that there's so many young people that are so disoriented, but every single one of them has that essence. I can remember when I dropped her off the very first day, she was very timid, very shy about coming here. And the minute she came through that door, it changed. Children are 25% of our population, but they are 100% of our future. This is a big deal about trust. When we give our baby birds to you, we know that the conservatory is going to soften the blow. You're, you're caring for them, not just whether they complete the show and they sing well or they have an instrument, they're playing an instrument, but you're teaching them to be great human beings. You can find a lot of places that will teach music and teach theater, but there are not a lot of places in this city or in the world that teach essence. You know, teaching kids to be courageously authentic through that journey of falling and rising. It, it's like you walk across the threshold of the door and there, there is no handicap, there is no disability. You are free. These kids find a place to belong. My son's battle was, might be different from some, somebody else's child, but you know, I just want everybody to know they have somewhere to be and somewhere to go. If it saves one child, you know, then I think that we've all done our job. We surround them with these incredible mentors, and that's when we start releasing their essence. And that's where every time you have an opportunity to stretch them and bring that out even further, they turn around and go, wow, did I just do that? Yes, and you did it really well. For me, the conservatory unleashed a whole new person. Something about me clicks in like my soul, mind, and heart. It's like a new presence is involved. I call it like euphoria, the extreme state of happiness. And that's what I find when I'm here. It was nerve wracking playing with people way above my level. I talk about putting in your feet in cold water. It was crazy. But coming out of that experience, I learned so much and I'm glad I did. I became like this completely different person that like didn't know that was inside of me and just brought it out. You know, once they leave, they still call or text any time of the day or night. And um, my phone rang, and I went downstairs because it was very late. And I'll never forget that, because that was the first time that someone called, and I'm like emotional, and he said, guess what? I said, are you okay? And he said, guess what? I got my first Broadway show. And now he's a Tony Award winner. And that's, um, and he still comes back and teaches, which is like all in, it's like everything you ever would want. If every community on the entire globe had a place that was for children, that afforded creativity, community, collaboration, and culture, the world would be a completely 
different place.